Fielding and low! <laughs> What's going on? Keep it going for Professor Elwood. He is fantastic. I'm so honored to be here. I mean, not to brag, usually I do shows where the host is like a 15 year old, like vaping hipster named like Leviathan or Xenon, who's got like a ferret in his Jansport. And he's like, you want to see my vaporizer after the show fielding in the parking lot? I'm like, no, I don't. No, I don't, Xenon, okay? I'm like a cross-addicted middle-aged housewife who drove here tonight listening to Susu Studio, okay? <laughs> Windows down, okay? Locked eyes with like a dash bus driver and that was the best moment of my day. Okay, so that's, that's where I'm coming from. But um, <laughs> I'm in love with you. Uh, yeah, I, I don't do any of those little, everyone's got some pipes and things and things shoving them in my face. I'm like, I, I've been sober for 20 years, you guys. Like it's been, oh my God. Oh, thank you so much. No, I go, oh my God, I should make San Bernardino my home group. Thank you so, I mean, no, really, I'll take that. Yeah, it's been, um, it's so funny. It's been a while I got sober young. Okay, yeah. Although I think I look 32 and a half if I'm wearing glitter. Okay, um, you're like, no. Okay, that's all right, that was a test. That was a test, and we all passed. Fantastic. Um, no, I feel like when I first came in, like in the people in recovery, they're like, ooh, strap in. You're gonna get a life beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> like, you're gonna be rocketed to the fourth dimension. I'm like, really? What dimension? Okay, not to scare anyone, but like, what have, like, what really what's happened? Like vision boards that don't work? You know, like crying yoga? Customer of the month at Yogurtland? Like, what's, what's really, I mean, please. It's like, I, I've done 48 steps in four different 12-step programs, okay? <laughs> like, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't think I'm gonna be the funniest person on this lineup tonight, but I think I'm the most recovered, okay? <laughs> like, oh, thank you, I'll take it, I'll take it. Listen, I'm a narcissist, so please, I'll take a bath in it, no one cares about it. But it's like, I know I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not blowing the roof off of Hollywood, okay? But I can murder a spiritual inventory, okay? Detailing all of my life's failures and disappointments in a Wallace and Gromit journal, okay? I'm just saying, I am, um, everyone, whenever people meet me, they're like, you're an only child. <laughs> like, and I know that's not, it's not a compliment. And I'm not, I'm not an only child. I have a younger brother and um, but here's the problem, you guys. So my younger brother is a neurologist at Harvard. Okay, I know, oh, don't give him anything, no. And don't even clap for Brian, no. Don't clap for Brian, I won't have it, okay? That's what's, that's the problem of my whole life. But, um, and, but, okay, and like, literally, you guys, Time Magazine, just called him one of like America's top 20 researchers on traumatic brain injury. Yeah, okay, okay. But uh, the Tolucan Times just called my one woman show almost watchable, okay? <laughs> so yeah, exactly, oh my God, can I just, thank you. Can we have a sleepover? Like I have a slumber, but I have a, okay, yeah. But like, he, <laughs> that didn't even make sense, uh, but he, no, and then, the, no, and then there, here's, and this is also true, and this even just happened. So my mom, okay, just a little bit about my mom. So she's a part-time therapist slash stay-at-home narcissist. And um, so, <laughs> and so she, and she's in her 70s now, so she prefaces everything with like, I'm in my third act just like Jane Fonda, and I'm gonna say what I want. And I'm like, you've been doing that forever, Mary. So just pipe down. And um, yeah, no, she's like, she's like, how do, oh, no, I'm a feminist. Let's be, okay, no, I am a fan. No, but my mom's like, don't you think I look like Deborah Winger from Shadowlands? <laughs> I'm like, no, you look like Terry Hatcher from Tales from the Crypt. But anyway, so she, she, and that's a compliment. I think Terry's a beauty. So I, so yeah, so she just called me up and she's like, about my brother, of course. And she's like, hello, you haven't called. And I'm Jewish, by the way. <laughs> she's like, I know that's a shocker. But like, you haven't called. And by the way, um, so it seems like your brother is uh, probably, uh, he's probably going to be nominated for a Nobel Prize. <laughs> I know, and I was like, okay, mom, that's fine, great. But when you get off the phone, I want you to call Brian, and I want you to ask Brian if he's ever 
ever won a plate of french fries for third place at a flappers comedy contest, okay? See what Brian says, and then ask him if an audience member randomly came up to him and asked him, or just said, look, I'm just gonna tell you something right now, you were like a really kind of unsatisfying Janine Garofalo. <laughs> somebody, somebody married, somebody married me. Somebody married me, okay. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. It happened, I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I don't even know what, I think we have an anniversary because Facebook tells you, but I don't even know because it's like, yeah, thank you Mark Zuckerberg for telling me what is happening. Uh, I don't know, I think it's, I'm coming up on 10 years. I, I don't know because it's like a hostage situation. Like there's, there's nothing worse than a husband, okay? But I'm sorry, like, and by the way, don't come up to me after the show. She gets me, yeah. We're gonna go start a group called Us Two. Not you, and um, but, like, but he's like, I'm, I'm not gonna leave Larry. Yeah, that's right, I sleep with a guy named Larry, okay? Right. It's not fun, it's not fun. Yeah, and I just heard a murmuring Larry. <laughs> I was like, I know, try it, it's not fun. I mean, Fielding's no party, but Larry. So he, I, I'm not gonna leave Larry, okay? Because first of all, I'm not gonna leave my joke generator, okay? <laughs> like, and also there's nobody I'd rather lie in bed and look at my phone with. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's be honest, right? But the, the problem is he's, he's not, he's not here, Larry? No, he's from, um, he's, Clearly, clearly there are problems now. Um, he's an actor, but um, believe me, you don't know him. N believe me, I'd be wearing a much nicer shirt. <laughs> and he always like walks around our house. He has to use his theater voice, like his big theater voice, right? And like, so he talks in his sleep, you, okay? So that's why I'm a little fatutzed because last night I was like, yeah, fatutzed, I, I dropped it. <laughs> so in the... <laughs> So in the middle of the night last night, always just talking, talking, right? I'm like, you're not auditioning for the Barrymore. And so he, I wake up to this, you guys, in the middle of the night. This is my husband. Jeremy, just get everyone into the barn, okay? Just get everyone into the barn. And I was like, you can't even dream big. <laughs> like, what is that? He's like dreaming, he's like the second AD on the set of Children of the Corn. Or like, what is that? Like, what is that? Like, what are you, like, witness? You're like in witness, all right, that, I know. Now you're like, what, what, how old are you? Do you know why you get married? This is why you get married, I figured it out. The reason you get married is to lie in bed with your partner and just talk about people you hate. That's the only, that's the only reason. And then, that's the only reason, yeah, exactly. Except, we were doing that the other night, Larry, all 250 pounds of it, he was like all cuddled up next to me. And I was like, oh my God, I hate you. <laughs> like, that's a, no, because he, you guys, he never retweets me. Why do you get married if you can't get a retweet? That should be in the vows, just read, fave. I'll take a fave. Literally, like, I can't even get a, so, I'll, I'll admit it, like, I, I broke into his phone. I know his code. It's, I'm saying this on TV. It's 1111, okay? <laughs> I don't care. I read his journal. I memorize his emails. I track his auto mileage. Turns out he's a regular at Jersey Mike's. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, and then we, uh, we have a daughter. <laughs> I don't want to scare anyone. We do have a five-year-old. <laughs> I know everyone's like, oh, that's scary. So anyway, so I got the call you guys from her pre from her school, her preschool last year, and the teacher was like, just think of me, the people who don't have a child, like think of me because nothing your child do will be worse than what I'm gonna tell you my child did. So the teacher's like, are you sitting down? I was like, yeah, and she's like, okay, so I just have to talk to you. So your child um, during nap time woke up a sleeping child next to her and goes, you know you're not beautiful, right? A hate crime. That's a hate crime. That's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, and, and you know what? Like, and by the way, I've seen Chloe. I know the girl. She's not a looker. Okay, <laughs> she's not. Okay, I'm sorry, but she, you know, she's not Rocky Dennis in mask. And then you know what? The worst part about that whole thing is, you guys. Now, when I'm just like walking around the house, like on a Saturday, I feel like I have to wear makeup around my daughter. I'm fielding it, low, you guys.